Hey there, it's Reagan from Cream of Coffee, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Peak Water Pitcher Starter Pack. The Peak Water Pitcher is 100% manufactured in the UK and includes everything you need to have cafe quality water at home. The Pitcher Starter Pack comes with a pitcher that is composed of several parts. It has the pitcher body, the liner, the bypass pin, the filter, and two test strips. The pitcher itself stands at 330 millimeters tall, so about 13 inches, which can be a little too large for the shelves of some refrigerators. However, we did find that it fits comfortably in the bottom shelf of the door of many refrigerators. The test strips and the filter are what make this pitcher so unique. The filter is fully recyclable and is made out of BPA-free plastic. Inside the filter is a two-chamber design that consists of a dual ion resin that has the capacity to remove all the minerals from your water. However, you do wanna keep some hardness to your water just to get the most out of your coffee. The second bypass chamber is made of carbon and combats any unwanted organic compounds while allowing the desired minerals as set by the dial to pass through and meet with the softened water in the bottom of the pitcher. The peak water pitcher aims um, to get 40 to 80 parts per million of alkalinity or carbonate hardness. The lifespan of your filter is really determined by the hardness of your water. The peak water pitcher was designed to uh, manage levels of about 350 to 400 parts per million. However, it has shown to effectively filter water of about 500 parts per million. The manual that comes with your pitcher does include a page that gives a suggestion of about how many liters you will get out of your filter before having to replace it based on the results from your test strip. However, Peak does suggest that you change your filter every two months in order to maintain hygienic filtration regardless of the hardness of your water. In order to figure out the hardness level of your pitcher, first you need to test your water with the provided testing strips. These testing strips measure the different minerals such as calcium and magnesium that are in your water. To dial in the precise setting that you need for your unique water at home, you first need to test your water using the provided testing strips, and it's very simple. All you do is get a glass of tap water out of your faucet, Place the tip of the testing strip into the water for five seconds and wait. Once that time has passed, remove the test strip, but don't shake the water off because it needs to sit. And after about 10 seconds, you'll see the tip of the test strip change colors. Once you have that color, you need to compare it to the color chart that came provided with the testing strips. And if for some reason you don't have one or you've lost yours, it can be found online at peakwater.com under the use and learn dropdown section. Each color aligns with a different hardness level, which then corresponds to a setting on the dial to either remove or retain the necessary minerals for your water. Now that we've discussed the different components of the Peak Water Pitcher Starter Pack, we get to see how it works. So when you begin unboxing your Peak Water Pitcher, you have to break it down in order to set it up. To do so, um, once you have the pitcher out of the box, you'll need to remove the liner from the body. To do this, you'll apply pressure to the indentation on the back of the lid, and this will cause a flap uh, to flip up. Once you have this, you'll easily be able to remove the liner from the body. Underneath the liner inside the body of the pitcher, you will find a filter that is wrapped. You'll remove the filter from the pitcher body Remove it from the plastic and you'll want to insert it into the liner. Now you'll want to do this with the grooved circular side facing up. There's also a tab and it'll just slide right into the liner. And then the bypass pin has grooves as well that should, when the uh, dial is set to release, it should align perfectly with the grooves on the circle of the filter. And once you have those aligned, um, the lid should fit comfortably back on top and you're ready to go. When you are replacing your filter in the future, it's the exact same process. All you'll do is remove the liner from the body, the bypass pin from the filter. You'll reconnect it to the new filter and throw it back into the body of the pitcher and you're good to go. But before you start brewing with peak water, you need to prime your filter. So in order to prime your filter, all you need to do is set the dial on the pitcher to four, fill it, uh, the liner up with cold tap water and let it filter through. 
That takes about three minutes. And once that's done, pour the water out, uh, repeat those steps two times for a total of three filtrations. Once your pitcher is all set up, it's as easy as filling the liner with your tap water, waiting a few minutes, and then you're ready to get brewing. Here at Prima, our water came in at um, somewhere between 120 and 180. So we set our dial to the dot right past the three. We did conduct some tests comparing coffee being brewed with the peak water pitcher and just regular tap water. And there was a noticeable difference in the quality using the peak water pitcher. It was a much uh, more balanced brew. Another great feature on the peak water pitcher is that the dial has a stepless adjustment. So this means that once you've started brewing on the recommended setting, you can make minor adjustments here or there to set it to match the coffee that you're brewing. So for example, if you put it on the lower setting, it allows more minerals to stay in your water. And this can help balance the acidity if you're brewing a stronger cup of coffee or espresso. But if you're brewing something that's floral and aromatic, you will want softer water, so you'll set the dial um, a bit higher. So it's really great that this gives you the freedom to experiment with your water at home. A few things to note about the Peak Water Pitcher is that, like I said before, the filters are 100% recyclable. And Peak Water has promised to recycle and reuse all of the filters that are sent back to them. Unfortunately, they're only able to do this in the UK at this time. So here at Prima Coffee, we are trying to play our part to make sure every filter in the US is recycled. So when your filter has reached its end, you can mail it back to us and we will collect and store them and send them back to the UK so that Peak Water can recycle and reuse them. Another benefit of purchasing the Peak Water Pitcher is that a portion of every pitcher goes towards Project Waterfall, which works to provide clean water and sanitation to the residents in Ethiopia. The Peak Water Pitcher really is a game changer when it comes to cafe quality water at home. While tap water is less wasteful, it really can hinder the taste of your coffee. And although water pitchers that are designed for drinking water are great, they fail to include the minerals that really help your coffee shine its brightest. The Peak Water Pitcher really gives you the best of both worlds because it's more cost effective than buying branded water at the store or even deionized water and adding minerals, all while reducing waste and filtering your unique water to include everything that it needs to brew the best cup of coffee. If you have any questions about your specific situation, feel free to reach out to us on social media or sales at primacoffee.com. You can find the Peak Water Pitcher Starter Pack, the Peak Water Filter Replacements, and individual testing strips online at primacoffee.com. And thanks for watching. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you saw, you'll be pleased to know there is much more content where that came from. You can check out our website for overviews, comparisons, recipes, and event coverage. And you can help out our channel by liking this video, subscribing, commenting, sharing, or ringing the bell. Happy brewing, y'all.